Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be talking about infantry transport logistics in Planet Side 2. We're not talking about moving supplies around because that's probably coming with the resource revamp, but even so, this is kind of a fun topic because if I asked you the question, would you like to see logistics play a bigger part in Planet Side 2, the vast majority of you would probably say yes, you know, absolutely, I'd love to see that. Many of you want galaxies to ferry players back and forth from the warp gate. You want to see liberators and harassers that have a full crew and not just a single guy jumping back and forth from the driver to the gunner seat. And you want Sunderers to have a reason to stop and pick you up instead of forcing you to hit the redeploy key because they're too busy rushing off to AMS at the next base. I'd even venture a guess that many of you would like to see instant action and redeploy hopping removed entirely. But there is a problem with that. Because even if you say you want it, you might not, and even if you do, others do not. Remember that this is a free-to-play game that relies on a massive and casual player base in order to be successful. And if you're a parent with a family, you probably get exactly what I'm talking about. Not a whole lot of free time to play, so when you do play, you want to make the most out of the time that you have. If there was a battle around every corner, then this wouldn't really be a problem. But there's not. And if you had to do more wandering around than you did fighting, that doesn't create the most compelling experience. So you need a way to get people into and out of combat quickly, or you need to make the battles more widespread, last longer than they do now, and that would really require major redesigns, so I'm not going to talk about it. But that said, where is the middle ground? How do we get more logistics into the game without removing the ability to quickly enter and leave combat when need be? The first step would be to rework instant action. Instant action, of course, is the redeploy mechanic that can be used every some odd minutes, and it's supposed to take you to a good fight. In the earlier days, you were actually able to see exactly where the biggest battles were happening, and then you can click on those battles to instant action to that location. I'd like to see this kind of make a comeback, but in a much more limited form. That form would be drop pods as a resource. Much like passive cert gain, every 12 hours or so, your drop pods would get restocked. Free players would have a maximum of 3 drop pods, and subscribers would have a maximum of 6. If you press the instant action key, you'd bring up the map, and it would show you the available action locations. These locations would include contested territories fighting where your faction has less than 60% of the current population. Also, if you lock a continent, you would restore your daily drop pod count, and extra drop pods could be perhaps given out on occasion as uh, rewards for doing other things as well. What this does, though, is it turns instant action into a choice, instead of just being something that we do whenever it's up. It allows more casual players, or players with a limited amount of time to play, to still find a fight quickly and do so at no real cost. And it also creates a separate reward system that doesn't hand out certs, but does have a substantial impact on the gameplay. The second thing would be to require resources to redeploy to a new location. The further away the desired hex is, the more resources it would cost to travel there, and it would also have to follow your current lattice links. The price range would be from zero to extremely expensive, depending on the distance, but the numbers would of course have to be tuned. And I know that this can sound really unintuitive, but I think it's only as confusing as you want to make it. And here's the reasoning. Sooner or later, as part of the resource revamp, we're all going to be using one personal resource pool. It's not going to be the three resource type system that we're using now, so you don't even need to ask the question about which resource it should use. Secondly, redeploying is a shortcut that circumvents vehicle use. That's all it is. Because of there being no consequences for using this shortcut, you get what people are calling the redeploy meta. Squads and platoons will instantly appear in force at any base, and from there they can either zerg you down and retake the base, or they can just put some time back on the defensive clock and then they could redeploy to go finish what they were doing elsewhere. This isn't Planet Side 2, it's not even platoon leading, it's a time management simulator that moves overwhelming numbers from one place to the next without consequence. By adding a resource cost, again, it forces players, squads, platoons to make a choice. You are either going to be taking the expensive but quick shortcut, or you're going to be pulling the less expensive but slower vehicles and do things the old-fashioned way. And to circle back around to the whole being unintuitive thing, this would completely come down to the UI work. If you use overlays like the ones I'm showing you in the background, it's pretty self-explanatory. Spawns further away cost more, warp gates are free, spawning somewhere in the same hex or even a hex back would also be free, and if you can't spawn somewhere, you'll know, 
the map will make it easy to understand and visually appealing. And this is really just my crappy Photoshop work. Some actual UI design would obviously look much better. The third thing that I would like to see is functionality for calling passengers and rewarding them for hanging out. Right now, we don't know who is actually going to stick around long enough for us to run over to the Sunderer and hop in. It'd be much easier if our V5 changed from I need a ride to at the very least I need a gunner when we're inside of a vehicle. And on top of that, you could make who needs a ride and who is available to give one a bit more obvious. Bouncing glowy arrows over infantry who call for a ride if you're in a vehicle that isn't locked and isn't full, and bouncing glowing arrows over vehicles for infantry who are looking for a pickup. As a little side note, it would also be amazing to have an audio indication for when people enter or exit a vehicle. Right now we kind of have to be staring at this little name list on the right side of our screen, and when you're busy doing things, it's kind of hard to notice who jumped into your gunner seat or who left you high and dry in the middle of a brawl. Lastly, drivers currently have deployment bonuses if they drop off allies within a hex, and then those allies kill some bad guys. Each time one of your little minions kills someone, you get rewarded with extra experience, but there's really no reason for a passenger to jump into your transport vehicle if they're only moving from one hex to the next, because they can always pull a flash, they can always pull a harasser instead, which is faster and usually more fun. What I would propose to change this up is to create a reinforcements bonus when players disembark from your transport vehicle. They get a bonus and you get a bonus, and it doesn't even require them to kill anything. This would be just a one-time thing where players load up at a captured hex and then get transported and dropped off at the next contested one. Secondly, allies who receive that reinforcements bonus are tethered to that vehicle for their next death, meaning that the vehicle that you were just transported in is going to show up as a spawn point for you once, regardless of whether you're in a squad or not. I think that this is a much more tangible benefit than experience, as experience is only a motivator if you're actually in need of it, whereas death, death is a constant, and having an additional spawn point available to you is always a good thing. That said, those are basically the four big changes I think could shake up the game's logistics system a whole lot, but still keep its casual stylings intact. With these changes, what I think you'd see overall is redeployments and instant action becoming more tactical in use, you'd see more vehicles on the field with a purpose, and less single-man Sunderers, Harassers, and Galaxies, and you would also see more people willing to transport allied troops due to the mechanics just being more user-friendly. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any thoughts on how to create more transport logistics in Planetside 2, then let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.